Okay, it is spring of 1940 in the game Second World War by 3W, published in 1994. It is the Axis player turn, and we'll start with the reinforcement phase. The Axis player gets uh, receives two units this turn. One of them is an airborne unit, and the other is an infantry unit. According to the rules, they have to go on the capital. The capital is already pretty full, so at the first available opportunity, we are going to have to correct the overstacking problem, because it is way overstacked. I may be doing something wrong in that respect, but pretty much says you can overstack, but you must uh, remove them at the first opportunity. And the first opportunity will be in the next phase, the movement phase. I made a slight error, uh, strategic error last turn. I should have probably took a unit, you know, I had a couple there in Berlin. I should have took a unit on up here and captured um, Denmark. Um, I can do it this turn with the airborne unit. Um, either way, I didn't get the airborne unit until this turn, so there's no way that I could stage it here and then take out uh, Oslo, Norway, in the Narvik campaign. So, um, that should technically occur here in the spring of 1940, I believe. Um, however, there's just no way to accurately represent that in the game. So, they're going to be a little bit behind, and I also should be uh, attacking France's turn in the Low Countries. So, next turn we get Italy and a couple more German reinforcements. So, we are going to go ahead and move on to the movement phase. Okay, here we are after the Axement, Axement? The Axis movement phase. Um, basically, I broke up the stack of Berlin. I moved them up to the French border and the Belgian border. Um, declared an invasion of, uh, against Belgium, Belgium, so I went ahead and put in their uh, defense unit. France, see, we moved some units away from the east front for now to uh, participate in the uh, west uh, front campaigns of 1940. I did invade Denmark, and they are now under Axis control. Spain, just pretty much sitting there in Madrid for the most part. Um, it's one of those, well, kind of like Italy. They could be taken over fairly easily if they try to use their forces anywhere with any great benefit. We could come down uh, probably and attempt a, a fight at Gibraltar, but that'd be at one-to-one -one odds. And eh, I'm not going to worry about that right now. So, we moved some aircraft around for the Axis, moved them over here so we can get ready, like I said, for the French campaign. And I think that's pretty much all the Axis did. So we're going to go ahead and go straight into the combat phase. Zoom back over here. It's just going to be two combats this turn for the Axis player. Combat number one is going to be these three Axis units up here, back over here, versus this Belgian. three, four in woods or forest, but the forest has no effect on combat. In fact, the only thing that does have an effect on combat is mountains. So I factored this battle at four to one. Um, what did I have? I have 12, yeah. Nine, 10, 11, 12 to three is four to one. So we're gonna have to go ahead and roll on the four to one. Uh, there's nothing else the allies can do at this moment since it's not their turn and you know, they can't enter. There's no such thing as air interception or anything like that. Oh, roll to six. Four to one. That is a defender one. So Belgium is captured. And that's one way we can uh, circumvent... Um, 
what am I trying to say? That's one way we can uh, gain some territory to try to come around to the north there and outflank the Maginot um, line. Um, it looks like uh, France will hold on until summertime of 1940, so I don't know how realistic that is, but let's see, we did have an armor unit, and they get to advance two hexes. So we'll put it down here, and then we'll put the Luftwaffe unit back. All right, combat number two is going to be similar. It's going to be a four to one because we're going to use these two German infantry, which is five and five plus the three, thirteen to four, or thirteen to three is going to be four to one. Let's see if we can take the first hex of uh, France here. World to one, and yeah, that's going to be an exchange at four to one. So we're both going to lose a unit. Well, sorry about my hand there. I have my camera placed in just the wrong location. So we'll remove the French unit and we'll remove the German 5-5 five five and we'll advance with the German 5-5. Five five. Not much else I can do there. So that precipitates the fall of, well not the fall of France, but um, we've broken through the northern corridor there. And we'll have to see um, what the Allies can do to respond to that. Which we will do um, in the next uh, segment. Okay, here we are at the end of the British spring movement phase. There was just a lot of repositioning and there will be no combat by the Allied side. Um, pretty much not a lot happened on the Western Front. Uh, did I? Yes, I think I did strip this unit from Syria, if I didn't already mention that. Um, and Russia did attack the Baltic states and thus gain control of them. Up there where the top 7-4 is, I believe. And I don't think that much else happened. I did move a Russian army uh, unit up to block the fin Finnish border, just in case, since Moscow is only like three hexes away, and the uh, Russians will be getting some more reinforcements here soon, I hope. Other than that, that's about all that the Allies could do. I did uh, get a reinforcement. Uh, over there in the center of the screen at the bottom. They did get um, a 6-5 infantry unit, which should be enough to hold uh, hold Africa for a while, Egypt anyway, and the French fleet there, the 140, like I said, it went to Syria, grabbed a unit, stuck it in Marseille, and then it moved back to its position, um, blockading the the uh, naval area there between uh, Albania and uh, the Italian mainland. So, I think that's going to wrap up the uh, fall, spring 1940 turn. I would like to uh, move the BEF, which is under this air unit, uh, to France, but that would leave. Um, uh, the United Kingdom open to a possible invasion or airborne kind of a thing before they could get another uh, reinforcement. Their next reinforcement will come looks like in uh, the fall of 1940. They'll get a small 210 unit and that might be an air unit. 210? Yeah, it's probably an air unit. So I don't see them getting any kind of an actual unit for a while yet, so I don't know how much they can actually participate in the war during this first year. I mean, they could probably throw in their 410 air unit to help out, but we'll have to see what happens to the rest of the Battle of France and see if we can't knock out 
one of the um, Axis Air units. But other than that, that's the end of the 1940 spring turn. I'll be back with um, the summer turn later.